Well, the Jewish Historical Society of the Upper Midwest is, a, is 28 years old now. It's a great example of the community coming forward to, to say these are the stories we think are important, these are the stories that should be collected. And it began because Minnesota Historical Society had mounted an exhibit about Upper Midwest Jewish settlement, and that was going to end, and the community realized if we don't organize and save our own history, nobody else is. And as we've moved into our third decade, we're looking to, to see what can uh, continue to make us relevant to the conversation today. So we have a strong collection through the 1950s, but we're very excited to collect the next 50 years of this story, and it's a different story. It's not the pioneer story anymore. It's the story of assimilation. We have been fortunate enough to house our collection, half of our collection, at the invitation of Governor Anderson over at the University of Minnesota. We saw what an opportunity that was to be part of a huge organization like the University of Minnesota, something we could have never paid for ourselves, purchased ourselves. Unfortunately, when Governor Anderson invited us to the library, there was a fixed amount of space, so it, we were only able to send half our collection. It's not ideal. We don't recommend it. Now that we've been at the university for 10 years and they see how, um, how our collections are used, they are realizing we're quite an asset to them. So they've made the extraordinary offer to house our entire collection and to take over um, providing access for researchers. It allows us to have such a state-of-the-art opportunity that we could never have built for ourselves. Because we're able to, I'm, I'm gonna use the term, shed almost a third of our mission and more than half of our budget, the cost of preserving and making accessible our collections, we're able to shed those costs. We're, we're outsourcing all of that to the U we're able to circle back and do what I think we do really well, strengthen our education and exhibiting portion of our mission. So that's what we plan to concentrate on to continue to bring forward these stories as we've done in the past with award-winning exhibits, film, and publications. And because we don't have to keep a um, public space for researchers to review materials here, we are on the, we are at a place where we have a phenomenal opportunity to turn our what had been our offices into a gallery. The Jewish community has never had a place dedicated to telling their story.